Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last year, back in August, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out this update, KB5012170, which was a important security update to fix a secure boot DBX grub vulnerability um, issue on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, um, just to do a quick recap for this video, um, although the update was rolled out to address that security issue, it was also causing issues where it was failing to install with um, the error code 0x800F0922 and was also causing another issue which was quite a major issue as I did post on previously where uh, some users, actually a whole lot of different users were um, locked out of their operating systems because their systems were forced into BitLock recovery mode after installing KB5012170 which means, as many of you may know, that without your recovery key or pass key for BitLocker, you can't log into your, your operating system. So that was obviously a massive issue. And if you want any more info regarding the update and Secure Boot DBX and BitLocker recovery mode issues, just do a search on the channel, as I have posted plenty of videos in that regard. Now, getting back to the initial problem at hand. Now, something strange is going on because... Um, on the 11th of April, and um, that was earlier this week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Patch Tuesday updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog and we enter 5012170, which was the same update that Microsoft rolled out to fix those Secure Boot DBX issues, um, Microsoft is still making this update available because here we can see last updated 11th of April 2023 and um, although it's not an automatic compulsory update you can still head over to the update catalog and download and install the update manually if um, you would like to do so and is available for Windows 10 and Windows 11 as mentioned. Now um, the reason I say this is strange is because if we head over to Microsoft Docs to their health dashboard page yeah we see the initial problem the update might fail to install and you might get the error code as mentioned and um, this is still an open case. Um, Microsoft says their next steps, they are presently investigating. So although this, the issues that the update is causing, basically failing to install with error code and also uh, forcing BitLocker into recovery mode, haven't been fixed by Microsoft, um, they are still pushing out the update as a manual update through the update catalog, which I find is very strange and um, obviously um, is not the optimum because if you do install the update, it could fix your security issues, but obviously cause those side effects where you get that error code and could be locked out of your system if you don't have your BitLocker recovery um, pass key and password and so on. So nonetheless, I thought that was interesting and just wanted to keep you updated and posted because as mentioned, I have been covering this over the last couple of months and um, took note of this and obviously I'll watch this one with interest and if any more info becomes available as to why Microsoft is once again pushing this out as a, a manual a download and installation through the Microsoft Update Catalog, I will obviously post and let you know. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.